Hello and welcome back to this tutorial on creating a simple PHP strategy game. In this part of the tutorial we will be dealing with training and untraining units. As you can see here in the last part we created the main page which has all of the users game information stored here. So what we're going to do is create the your units page which will be called units.php and that will deal with training and untraining the, these four units. So what we're going to do is copy and paste this code that we have in our index page. You just have session start, include the header, and include the footer. You don't need anything else because you can see we already have the include functions and the connect function all set up. So the database will be connected to. So what we do here is we paste that and, whoopsie, other project. And we're going to call it units.php. So now, if we go over to units.php, well, I'm not logged in right now, but if we do this, there, I'm back, back logged in. We go to units, and you can see that there's nothing there. So what we're going to do is open up main, just so we can copy some of this text here. And also what we have to do is we have to check, is the user logged in? So what we're going to do is, we'll just copy and paste all of the main page here. And what we can do is, we'll just delete this whole table here, and just leave the center tags there. So this will be your units. Now, if we refresh the page, your units. So what we'll say here is, we'll add in another break line, and we can say, you can train and untrain your units here. So there you have it, you can train and untrain your units here. Actually, one break line seems to be enough. There definitely much better. So what we'll do now is we will add in two break lines. Let me just see how that looks. Okay, that'll be fine enough. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create two tables and one the first table will be used to train the units and the second table will be used to untrain the units. So what we're going to do here is get a table going and let's just add in like I don't know cell padding of five and cell spacing of five. This way you know it just gives it a little bit more of a nicer look to it. And the reason why I'm using tables here is because you could use div tags as well but it's going to be slightly messier to get the same result so tables will work fine here. So now what we're going to do is we have our table row here. Let me just do that. And in the table columns, we will have bold this um, unit type. So we can see unit type there. And we're just going to copy and paste this a few times. Four. Um, how do we want to do this? Number of units, unit cost, and let's see. We'll just say, I don't know, train more. So now if we go, whoopsie, yep, still uploading videos. So we go here, we have unit type, number of units, unit cost, and train more. So we go back into here. And what we're going to do is create another table row and a series of columns. Now, in order to make the table look equal, we're going to have four columns per row. And I don't know how many rows. We have four units, and then we want to have a submit button. So we're going to have a total of five more rows, this one being one of them. So we can copy and paste this four times. So you have 
worker, farmer, warriors, defenders, and one more for the submit button. So now what we're going to do is we'll say worker. The number of units will get to that. Actually, we can do that right now. PHP. Just get those tags going. And as you can see in the save file, we have right here the units. So what we're going to do is number format underscore format and we're going to say unit worker actually we need to echo this <laughs> so we're going to do this and as you can see you have other uh, parameters that you can use but for right now this will be fine enough so now what we're going to do is the cost of the units uh, for this we will just have I don't know, a simple 10 food for all the units. Um, again, it doesn't have to be, it can be any number, really. We'll get to calculating attack, defense, income, and farming in a little bit. So now what we have to do is input type equals text. The name will be worker. And I actually forgot to add the form here. So if we say form, let me just get rid of this right now. Form action is units.php. And the method, of course, will be post. So now that we have that, we go down to the bottom of the table. And we have the form. Whoopsie. Let me just, okay. Okay, so we have our ending form tag and our beginning form tag. So then we have this. Let me just see if it looks decent. And as you can see, it doesn't look the greatest, but again, we're not too concerned with it. So now what we can do is we can actually copy and paste this for the next three. One, two, three. Oopsie. Looks kind of messy. Okay. So now we have our farmer here. We want to echo the number of farmers. Oopsie. Again, 10 food, and we change this name to farmer. Here we have warrior, warrior, 10 food, change this to warrior. And here we have defender, defensor, <laughs> change this to defender and again defender so now that we have that we go back to our units page and you can see that we have all of this <coughs> now obviously once the numbers get bigger you'll see that the space will fill up and then in this last section we will have our input type to be submit the name will be train and the value of it will be train something like that and as you can see we have the train if I refresh the page you'll see that the form has been submitted so now we're basically going to copy and paste this page or not this page but that table rather and that will be the untrained portion so if we just add a break line the HR tag, which is just like a, a line, you'll see right, uh, let me just go here, you'll see that line there. That'll basically separate, actually we don't, we don't need these break lines, um, the tables and the HR tags provide a decent enough spacing. So now we have this form tag, go up to the beginning of the form tag, copy that, paste it here, now you can see that we have that. So now what we're going to do is you can leave everything here. Well, first off, let's train, let, uh, change, sorry, change that to untrain. So now these are, once we refresh the page, these will be two completely different forms. And we can just say untrain. Now, if a user decides to buy a unit with food and they they decide they don't want the unit back then 
we want to incur some form of cost to them. They'll get some food back, but not all of it. So what we'll do is, I don't know, we can do anywhere from half the amount of food back to like 90%. We'll just say, we'll say eight food. That seems fairly, fairly good enough. That way, if they do decide to sell the units, then it won't be as, I don't know, won't be as good because then they'll have to get more food or perhaps wait a turn before they can get more units. So now that we have that, we are, for the most part, done with just the HTML work. And let me check how much time I have left. I'm going to cut this a bit short, just so that way the part after this will deal with after the user uh, clicks either of the form buttons. So I will see you in the next tutorial.